immense means very large object which gives lots of heat and it is free heat is available to us throughout the day it is available everywhere on the earth can you guess the object yes you are right it is sun sun is major source of heat for all of us what is heat heat is form of energy it is also known as thermal energy we can't see heat but we can feel heat we can feel by some ways by touching it or sitting or standing near to it if you want to know about the temperature of some hot water in a beaker we simply immerse the tip into it and wait for some time the surrounding heat will cause the mercury to expand and move up and show a specific scale the common scale either a celsius or a fahrenheit centigrade thermometer is also known as celsius scale name as anders celsius who developed it it has 100 equal division it begins at 0 degree centigrade it is a water freezing point and ends at 100 degree it is a water boiling point on this scale normal body temperature will be 37 degree centigrade In a Fahrenheit, the freezing point of water is thirty-two degree, and the boiling point of water is two hundred and twelve degree. In between two scale, there will be one eighty equal division. In Fahrenheit, body temperature is ninety eight point six degree Fahrenheit. Structure of laboratory. thermometer students thermometers are different types and having the different uses clinical thermometer one of the type of thermometer it is used for measuring body temperature again laboratory thermometer it is a kind of thermometer and they are used for measuring the temperature of different objects according to its name it is useful in laboratory it is useful in measuring the accuracy temperature of objects like gases liquids and solids laboratory thermometers are specially long in size inside it the mercury is present and it works on the principle of thermal expansion thermal expansion means while heating the object change its size shape and temperature while heating the mercury will expand according according to the heat given to it if more heat is there 
the more expansion is occur if less it is there then less expansion is occur fahrenheit is mostly used in us and kelvin means k it is called as a absolute temperature of that specific object this type of scale unit is used whenever we specially measure the object in lab celsius celsius is most common unit of thermometer in the world this is used in clinical thermometers the range of laboratory thermometer for measuring the temperature is minus 10 degree centigrade to 110 degree centigrade the clinical thermometer is one of the kind of thermometer and it is used by the doctors humans to measure the temperature of our body while measuring the temperature we keep it under the tongue or under the armpits in need in the clinical thermometer small kink is present it helps to fallen down of the mercury present in the capillary tube into the bulb so that user takes the proper reading of temperature mercury is present in the liquid state so that's why the kink is helpful to stop it inside the thermometer in clinical thermometer kink is present but in the laboratory thermometer the kink is absent in clinical thermometer the kink is present so we can easily take the temperature of the specific body first we discuss about precautions to be taken while reading a laboratory thermometer while the temperature is being taken the bulb of thermometer should be properly in contact with the object whose temperature is to be measured it should be vertical and it should not touch any side or the bottom of the container the reading of the term the temperature should be taken without removing the thermometer from its position because in a laboratory thermometer there is kink is absent so when we remove it then the level of mercury should be decreased so it is very essential to keep the thermometer in contact with object the eye of the observer should be at the same vertical level as that of the mercury in the capillary tube now we will discuss about precautions to be taken while reading a clinical thermometer the thermometer must be washed with an antiseptic lotion like detol spirit or clean water then dry it very well with dry cloth before every use
the thermometer should be given two or three soft jerks to bring the mercury in the capillary well below the 37 degree centigrade while giving the jerks take care that the thermometer does not heat any other object in the surrounding otherwise the delicate bulb is break mouth don't laugh or talk or yawn or don't do any kind of action this is to prevent the breakage of thermometer which may release mercury and mercury is poisonous and fatal to life note the reading in a proper light if the thermometer breaks while giving the jerk and the mercury spills then take a small ball of kneaded wheat flour from your mother and roll it over the mercury droplets to pick them all put this contaminated wheat flour ball in a polythene bag and tie a knot and hand it over to your nearest pharmacy to dispose it of thank you and have a nice